there everyone, Tanaya here from Big Kahuna Swim Academy. Welcome to this video! <laughs> Today we're talking about why doggy paddling leads to drowning. Now this is a two-part series. Today we're just going to be talking about it. Next week I'm going to be showing you a little bit more in depth why this holds to be true. Now. There are two things I want to talk to you about today. First, you must be wondering, why does doggy paddling lead to drowning? Well, two reasons. Number one, it's not safe, nor is it sustainable. Not safe, not sustainable. And there's three reasons why. Number one, you are constantly moving while you're doggy paddling. Your arms are moving, your legs are moving, your head's up trying to stay above the water. You know, you're struggling just to keep moving and keep breathing. To add on to that, number two of why it's not safe or sustainable is that you're depleting your oxygen faster. When you're moving and breathing at the same time, you're depleting that oxygen faster than you're able to get it back into your lungs. Third reason why it's not safe or sustainable is that you don't get a chance to take a break to relax, float on your back, and just gain that energy back, get your lungs filled up with a really, really good amount of oxygen, and just get back to ground zero so you can continue swimming. An example I really, really love to use with new clients, with anyone I'm talking to about water safety, or current clients that you know ask about doggy paddling is this. If you were to fall into the ocean miles off of shore, let's say five miles off of shore, you fall into, oh, actually, let's bring that down, three miles off of shore. You fall into the ocean, and you try to doggy paddle your way back to shore. You're probably not going to make it, right? Because you're going to get so tired, and you're not going to be able to go anywhere. And if you don't know how to roll over and float, well, you're kind of SOL at that point, right? But... If you do what Big Kuna teaches, and that's swim, float, swim, the eight basic water safety skills, so eyes in, kicking, rolling over, floating on their back, and then rolling over, eyes in, and kicking again, you're going to make it back to shore. It's going to take you a while, but you'll make it back. That example is what I always use to explain why we don't teach doggy paddling and why it's not a basic water safety skill. And it's... When I <laughs> explain that to people, they're like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And it does. It totally makes sense. So that's number one. So those three reasons are why it's not safe nor sustainable. The second reason why doggy paddling leads to drowning is it looks like someone is drowning. It looks like someone's drowning when they're doggy paddling. And that's because... We're not made to doggy paddle. As humans, we are not made. Our anatomy is not constructed to doggy paddle. And next week, I'm going to be showing you guys a human anatomy and a dog anatomy so you can see the differences and why it works for dogs, but it isn't for humans. I always tell my students, if they ever want a doggy paddle, I say, no doggy paddling. And I'll ask them, are you a dog? And they'll be like, no. Like, okay, then should we swim like a dog? They're like, probably not. I'm like, yep, probably not. <laughs> We're not dogs, so why should we swim like them? Why would you want to swim like a dog if you're not a dog? Right? Next week, we're going to go into the anatomy so you can see, because I know some of you out there are visual learners, see why this actually holds to be true. And I'll explain some more things in detail so that it all kind of comes full circle and it becomes very clear why indeed doggy paddling leads to drowning. So thank you, you guys, so much for being here today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and share it. Share, share, share with everyone you know. And if you're on our email list, you will get part two next week. If you're a subscriber, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and do that right now because you'll be able to get all this information all the time. You'll get notified about it. Pretty awesome. But share this, like I said, with anyone you might know. 
that would like this information, my goal is to get out information about water safety and swimming to the masses because it's really hard to come by. It's really hard to come by good information when it comes to water safety and swimming. So please share, 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 share. Like I said, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And until next week, until part two of why doggy paddling leads to drowning, swim safe, play hard.